<sighs> Today's the day, guys. We're trying out AdamX's latest FPS boosting guide. It'll tweak our systems and it should make it amazing. So if you guys are new, my name's Cameron. I do a bunch of how-to and guide videos. And lately we've been gone a rampage just doing a ton of FPS boosting content. So this is probably the best tweaker you could find on YouTube for Fortnite for giving you the highest FPS possible. He's going to turn my little GTX 1070 into an RTX 3090. It's going to make this thing a gaming beast. I'm going to be showing you how you can improve your FPS. And trust me, guys, it's really easy to do if you just follow my steps correctly. So basically, Adam X is saying if you don't do what he says, your computer will blow up. So it's best just to follow his step by step instructions. All right. So first thing you want to do is download the pack link down below in the description. And after you download it, you will simply just need to extract it and then open it. Super easy to download it. Um, he has the link there in the video. I'll also link it in my video so you guys can copy that from Adam X. Uh, so yeah, super easy to download. It's actually already done. Double click it. And then once you do that, um, you actually need to unpack it first. So to do that, you have to extract all. You should have this option here to extract all. So this registry file disables UAC which we will need to do before doing any of the steps in this video, because if we don't do it, then all the CMD scripts in this video might not work for you. So basically just double click disable UAC, click yes, and then click okay. And then make sure to restart your PC before doing the rest of the steps. I mean, you couldn't really mess it up, right? It says before anything important, <laughs> even has exclamation marks on the folder. So, uh, so yeah, you'll hit okay. You said to restart. So I'll see you in about five seconds. Now I want to go to the power tweaks folder, which will simply just contain tweaks that will make your computer care less about power and instead focus more on performance and latency. So when you're in here, you will see a script that allows you to download and use my custom made power plan, which is really good for FPS and system latency. So to import it, simply just double click the CMD script called import Adamax power plan. And after that, you can click on the power plan shortcut and there you should see my power plan. Make sure to activate it and then you can exit out of here. Bro, I don't care what anybody says. That is sick. You can have Adamax's exclusive power plan on your PC. That's so cool. I'm always amazed when people are able to code and program stuff because I can't do any of that. And I've been on a, on a computer for like 20 years. So, all right, so we're opening the folder, going to power tweaks and import Adam X's power plan. Terminal popped up and just flew away. So I guess it's uh, good to go. We'll go to power plans and see if we can find it here. There it is. Adam X's power plan. Power throttling registry file. This simply just prevents Windows from limiting your performance to conserve power. This feature is supposed to only do this to unneeded processes, but it doesn't really work as expected, so I really recommend disabling it. If you're on a laptop though, and your temps are pretty high, I wouldn't really apply this. So to disable power throttling, just double click the registry file, click yes, and then click OK. Alright, seems easy enough. Just double click on the power throttling, and OK. Wow, I mean, I love his guide because it's just so easy, so fluid, um, it's simple. I'm sure I could literally double click on everything in here and it would work just fine, but the man's a genius, so I have to listen to what he says in case I ruin my PC. After you are done, you wanna go back and now go to the GPU tweaks folder, and then in here, select your GPU. In my case, that is Nvidia, so I'm gonna cover the Nvidia folder first. In here, you wanna start by downloading the Nvidia profile inspector from the shortcut provided. Simply just double click it and it should open your browser and start downloading NVIDIA Profile Inspector. After it's downloaded, just move it to this folder and then drag the NIP file called New Optimized Profile over NVIDIA Profile Inspector and then lift off your finger and it should say Apply Successfully. When it says that, you can just click OK. Let's go to GPU Tweaks. I'm sure it's the exact same thing with AMD. Um, oh, actually, nope. There's two separate registry files for AMD users. But that's nice that he cares about AMD users. I know most people use Nvidia. So also not included in this video under the GPU is this short message. So I'm just gonna read this. This profile might enable G-Sync for you if your monitor supports it. If it enables G-Sync for you, but you don't use G-Sync, turn it off in the setup G-Sync tab in Nvidia control panel. So you'll just have to manually turn off uh, setup G-Sync after you do the GPU tweaks. So super easy guys, all you're gonna do like he mentioned here is just hold this uh, new optimized profile NIP and drag it over NVIDIA profile inspector and it'll say it import successfully and you're good to go. Back and now for disabled spectre and meltdown windows patches. I've already made a video about this before stating how beneficial disabling these patches is for your CPU performance. So to disable them just double click the registry file, 
click yes, and click OK. OK, that was super simple. All he said is just to go back. You're literally just going to double click on disable Spectre and Meltdown Windows patches. And after you do that, hit yes, and then OK, and you're done. Now we're on step number four. After you've done that, you now want to go back, and now you want to run the disable memory compression script. So memory compression is one of the most useless features in Windows, unless you have like a 4GB RAM notebook or something, because memory compression just hinders your CPU performance, which causes a lot of stutters. So I really recommend you all to disable it. Also, you might notice that I got an error here, but that's just because I'm on my own custom Windows install, which has features that memory compression relies on removed. So it's fine, but for most of you, you shouldn't really get an error. Awesome. So yep, we're on step number four. Just double click on it. We won't get an error, which is pretty dope. I got an error. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> oh well, whatever, we'll move on to the next step. Anyway, after that, you wanna now double click delete temp files which will just clear out your temporary files folders to free up space. Same thing for the next file, which just deletes any lock files that are on your PC, which 99.99% .99 you will never actually need. Okay, dope. So for five and six, we'll literally just double click them and it'll delete those files for you. So just because it has IPs and stuff in it, I'll blur it out just like AdamX did, but literally all you do is just double click on them. It'll have like these terminal windows and then it goes away on its own. It's pretty dope. Um, that's for numbers five and six. And uh, now we're gonna move on to seven and eight. After you've done that, the next step is only for people that keep Spotify or Discord open while they play games. So basically we're just gonna change two settings in Discord settings and one setting in the Spotify app. It helps a lot with input delay and game freezes as well. So first for Spotify, you just wanna go to Spotify settings, scroll down and then click advanced, then uncheck enable hardware acceleration. And then for Discord, you want to go to Discord Settings, Advanced tab, and uncheck Hardware Acceleration. Now, because I don't actually use Spotify or Discord while I game, I'm not going to do that step. But if you guys want to do that, I'll keep it in the video. You guys can just turn Hardware Acceleration off in those two sections. Wow, guys, look at that FPS. I'm at 400 low, 680 high. Uh, I got a huge FPS gain from this. When I look around, I still have pretty high FPS. You'll see like... 200 is my low, 280, 300 is the high. Uh, does dip down to 170, but overall, guys, huge FPS gain just by simply doing all those Adam X tweaks. So thank you so much, Adam. Thank you for doing all the amazing work you do. I'm glad we covered you on the channel because uh, this is phenomenal. So if you guys got huge FPS boosts, let us know down below in the comment section after doing those tweaks. But an awesome, awesome guide, and I'm really happy to share it with you. Um, as always, guys, peace out for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.